What's up guys, we are back with another Necker review, taking a look at the latest Kenner tribute figure in the Aliens line. But this is not a Xenomorph, we're taking a look at a human character this time around. We have got Drake, one of the Colonial Marines. So we've got him here in the standard blister card style package for the line. Figure in the bubble, you've got the vintage Kenner inspired artwork, that really ridiculous artwork of Drake down there in the bottom, and then you've got the NECA logo done up to look like the Kenner logo, and then on the back you've got the card cutout and the cross cell done up just like a vintage Kenner package. So let's do it, let's pull him out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our Drake figure. And this guy is pretty interesting. So we've got some, I guess, confusion going on surrounding this big gun and how it connects because it's his lone accessory, if you want to call it that. It is actually connected to the figure. Like you can't really take it off without pulling things apart that really aren't meant to be pulled apart. So this guy doesn't actually have any quote unquote accessories. He does have this big honking gun though. And it connects to him. He's got other pieces that allow it to attach to the body. And there is some confusion on how this thing's actually supposed to be connected because out of the box, it cannot be connected. And I've watched a few other reviewers who got this before me to see if I could figure out what was going on, and they didn't know either. And I took a piece apart, and then NECA posted something today, well, tonight, uh, just shortly before I started filming this, to kind of show how it's supposed to work. And in their little demo, there is a missing piece, so I think there is an extra part here. So I'm going to talk about this gun first because it's going to be some confusion, I suppose, if it doesn't look how yours does once we do the review. So this is the big smart gun that he comes with, and I really dig it. I mean, I like the idea. I like the design behind this thing. The sculpt is out of the out of this world. I mean, it's crazy looking. It's a big monster gun. And of course, you know, this is something that you see in the movie. And it's just really cool. It's very heavy duty. It's very futuristic. Very, it's very aliens, really. Like, this is something that I think of when I think of aliens. So uh, it's definitely a really cool piece. Now, where I guess the confusion comes in is that there is this piece on his back right here that pegs in. So it's the connection. So you've got this big arm right here that bends and pivots and everything, but it's supposed to connect. These two pieces right here, they don't connect. So what the demo showed is that this piece is actually missing and it is a separate piece. It didn't, I don't think it comes out as easily as, I, as mine did. Mine kind of just popped out. I actually think I kind of broke it, uh, but you pop that out and then this piece connects there. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm pretty sure, based on how NECA showed their little demo uh, image, this is how it's supposed to be. This is definitely like an extra piece. I don't know how this occurred, but this is what it seems to be. If someone knows more, let me know. But this is what looks like to be the problem. This thing cannot connect to this thing here. So you take it out, and then this little arm will connect to this piece that pegs into his back. And you have an actual functioning uh, smart gun that is connected to the body. And you've also got these wires that are here. Be careful because I've already popped them out. I need to glue them back in. Uh, you've also got a pivot point up here where the cable connects to the back. I've already popped that out too and I had to glue it back in. That's not such a big deal. I honestly thought I was going to do it anyway uh, because when it comes to this kind of stuff, I always do. And then you've got the big, uh, you know, bladed aspect of it. You can pop that off the back and it pegs into the front of the gun to add a whole different like a layer of depth to this thing. I really like that, you know, kind of bayonet type of deal, which is really cool. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's two knives on top of this big monster gun, but you can take that part off if you don't want to use it. And he does have a spot on his back there. So I really do like it. I mean, I think it's a really cool gun. I don't exactly know what's going on with this piece or how it occurred or why, but you can easily fix it. And if I'm right, that's great. If I'm not, someone let me know. But it certainly seems like this is the way it's supposed to be, and this piece is somehow extra. I don't know. Now, with that seemingly out of the way, you know, don't get me wrong, the gun is really cool, but I definitely think there is something weird going on with that connection. Hopefully I've got it right. But let's talk about how he moves around, because this guy is still kind of interesting, because... Well, the gun is attached to him, like I said, so it's always going to be on him. And, you know, right now I've kind of got it haphazardly slung across his back using the, uh, the bayonet uh, type of thing. And, well, that works, but it's not really how it's supposed to be. He's supposed to be holding this thing at all times. So his articulation is pretty good, but at the same time, based on the confines of the gun, he's really not going to be doing a whole lot more than just sort of standing there, or you can get him into a running pose uh, just fine as well, holding that gun. But... 
taking that into consideration, let's see what he can do otherwise. So you've got a ball peg for a neck, and he looks up pretty good. He looks down. He's got good tilt side to side, and then you've got full rotation there. The arms do go out at the shoulders. They do rotate. You've got your single rotating elbow, pretty standard for this line. And then you've got a little bit of swivel and hinge on those wrists. He does have a diaphragm cut, but I cannot, for the life of me, make mine do anything. I've even heated him up, and it still doesn't really seem to do anything. So you've got that. You know, your mileage may vary on that. Hopefully, hopefully that's a little more unique to me, but it just doesn't want to seem to budge. You've got a waist twist down here. It's just a ball peg, and there's some pretty serious gapping going on here. Uh, the, the actual harness will cover it just fine. You can kind of, you know, force him down a little bit more. But it's it's kind of kind of odd. He goes backwards only slightly, forwards a little bit, tilt side to side, and then he can rotate all the way around. Legs go all the way out, so do those Colonial Marines uh, splits, I suppose. Kick forward. You can kick backwards pretty good. You can twist at the thigh. You've got your single rotating knee, and then you've got ball pegs down at the ankles, which work really well. Good tilt action, really good rocker, and then rotation. The only thing I don't like, and it's just kind of a limitation on this, is the fact that these are boots, and it really messes up like the the paint lines when you do that. They just sort of get all kind of wonky. But he does move, I mean, pretty well. He basically moves about as well as I expect him to based on the other figures like this, but at the same time, He's probably just going to be standing there holding that gun. Is that a negative? I don't know. Your mileage will probably vary on that as well. I'm always going to have him holding it, so it's kind of irrelevant. But at the same time, I wish he was a little bit more dynamic, I suppose. And then as far as the overall look and feel, I'm not sure I really have anything to say negative here because, frankly, I really do like the way this guy turned out. I dig just about everything when it comes to the Kenner Tribute figures. It's a lot of nostalgia for me, and it's it's a lot of just fun, goofy stuff that NECA really, really does well. And this guy is more of the same. So we've already got that big monster gun, which I already love. I think it's great no matter how you want to use it. I think it's a really cool part of this figure because it truly is part of this figure. But the rest of him looks really good. I mean, the body is really nicely done. There, there's maybe one thing is that the shading on the arms is just kind of kind of on there and then you're done. Otherwise, though, the rest of him looks really good. I think the face, despite having this really ridiculous, like almost like he's taking a real hearty dump kind of look, works really well. It definitely kind of gives you that slightly scared, but also incredibly angry look that definitely seems to fit Drake. And then you've got the big uh, visor mouthpiece on him. The bandolier is really nicely done. Tons of little detail. The little grenades on him are really well done. A lot of wash and paint in there. And then you got some good camo down here on the legs. I don't know about the little spots on them, but the rest of it looks really, really good. So it's, it's just a solid kind of marine type of body in the NECA 7-inch scale. It works really good. The sculpt on the head is really fantastic. The wash in the hair looks really great. And it's all kind of one great package when you've got him holding that monster gun. Uh, but again, it's something you've got to take into consideration that he is very much tied to that gun. So it's all one complete thing. He's at his coolest when it's in his hands. So I guess there are, well, I guess there are a few oddities when it comes to this figure, but at the end of the day, I'm still pretty happy with him. You know, it hits that nostalgia button for me, and and I can't stress that enough. NECA excels at really just hammering the hell out of that nostalgia button, and they do it really well. And this figure is very much more of the same. He looks fantastic. You know, it's, it's very much a sum of all his parts. He looks really good on his own, but when you get that gun in his hands, he looks so much cooler, and it makes for a really complete package. He does have some interesting articulation in terms of that torso, and really... A lot of it's kind of wasted because of the fact he's always just going to be holding that gun, but he still does look fantastic. And then, of course, we do have to talk about the fact that there might be some extra pieces or extra piece when it comes to that gun. I'm still not sure. I don't know 100%, but it certainly seems that way based on how I've kind of figured out how to make it work. But once you take that part out, it works just fine, and you really are no worse for wear. So that's going to do it for this look at the NECA Toys Kenner Tribute Drake figure. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time...